Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here to finish the story. That's right. F finally talk about the last two units on here after I've attempted to in the past and then failed and then forgot and then had to redo the video. I'm going to talk about finally the last two dudes on the 21 million download campaign. Uh, one of them already out, Abuki Doji, and the other one is Omakasa Shiro. So this is going to be a very quick video because all the people who wanted Abuki already summoned for him. And no one summoning for Amakasa Shiro unless you were just a big old fan of um, specifically just him. Um, so let's get right to it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, Ibuki, here she is. Ibuki Doji, she is a saber. She has one quick, one arts, three buster, four hits on the quick, three hits on arts, three hits on buster, five hits on extra. Her first skill, physical strength of natural surroundings A+, increases on attack for three times, three turns, charges on MP gauge, 40% to attack and 50% to NP, and on a cooldown of six. Her second skill is A channel surging waves B, increases on buster performance for three turns, increases on defense for three turns, gain crit stars, 30% uh, to buster, 30% to defense, and 22 crit stars on a cooldown of five. Her third skill is the Defiled Fingertips A, seals one enemy's MP for one turn, increases zone critical damage for three turns, increases zone damage against undead enemies for three turns, 50% crit damage and 50% to undead damage on a cooldown of six. Passive skills, Magic Resistance A, Writing B+, Dragon Kind EX, and Snake Goddess Essence A. Her third skill is an anti-ruler attack damage aptitude, because trust no one, not even yourself. There is in fact a ruler of Buki somewhere out there roaming. <laughs> Noble Phantasm, Shinkin, Kusanagi no Tachi, Swords of Gods, Kusanagi no Tachi. Uh, I'm saying that wrong because it sounds like I'm saying Tachi, but I'm pretty sure it's Tachi. Anyway, Buster, rank A+, anti-army, for anti-fortress, hits four times, uh, ignores invincibility for one turn, deals damage that ignores defense buffs to all enemies. At MP level 1, it's 300%, and if you get it all the way to MP level 5, it's 500%, and then also a reduction of Buster Resistance for three turns. This does not apply first, 20% to the Buster Resistance uh, at charge level 1, and then if you get it all the way to the final charge level, it's 40%, and then of course she also has a costume dress that you unlock after you beat Hein Kyo. And that is a Buki Doji, the Saber version. Uh, the Saber version is, I think, fair to say, not as good as the Summer version. <laughs> that much is very clear, but she's still a very good unit, especially in where NA is currently. The only thing that would ever say like, hey, what would hold you back from summoning on her is, well, literally they just gave away a free five-star AOE, AOE unit. Um, with Saber. So if you're in that context and you're someone who's specifically new to the game and you're like, well, I just got this Saber for free. Is it worth going for a Buki if I don't really care for her? And then the answer is like, I think you're fine with Saber as is and you should be saving for stuff in the future. Um, especially when you're a new player, you want to make sure that you have your needs filled out before your wants is usually the best way I kind of see it as. You need, if you already have something taken care of then you can move on and wait a little bit abuki will have more banners in the future but for now you're pretty much satiated if you have if you chose saber for the five star um and for everyone else i think she's an extremely good unit in general uh the only thing that is going to be a little bit weird as time goes on is that as we get stronger units this increased stone attack for three times three turns can maybe be buffed a little bit because um it's kind of a harsh restriction to be 100% honest with you. The only thing that doesn't make it that bad is that you do get it back when if you're using Koyan Skya because this is on a cooldown of 6. And the only time that this would ever come up outside of looping, obviously if you're looping, you only need the 3 attacks 3 times, you're good. And it's extremely easy to loop with um, Abuki because there's like no real thought put into it. The reason, the reason I say that is that because she has a 50% to... it's over here. 50% to MP gauge and not 30% well like a lot of other busters have. It means that she doesn't need mana loading, which is right here, and she doesn't need, um, she's pretty well off in that case. And this is also on a six. So it ends up being that so when you do the final turn, a lot of the times when you go into Oberon, you need the 30% because you're like, oh man, I need to get that last 30% for her, but you, you don't really need to worry about, um, because Oberon gives 70% and she gives the 50 so in that case you wouldn't you won't even need to use Oberon in some cases like for example if you just had Waver for the final turn or hell you could use say a Summer Scotty because she also gives 50% just anyone who can give her 50% to give her the final push she needs obviously it would be Oberon would be the last unit to do when you're specifically looping is to be there 
But when you're not looping, this can be a little bit of a, deter um, a detriment. Um, Abuki is also really good at with three buster cards. If you get into any of those weird grind spaces where it's like you fight one enemy, two enemies, and then three enemies, it can be pretty good because one of her buster cards can easily kill the first enemy, no problem. And the reason I know this is because I have Abuki, and that's how I use my Abuki <laughs> to kill a lot of those weird strangeness. Thankfully, she's buster, so you don't have to worry about MP gain in general. But if you ever just needed to be, sometimes I'm just like, I don't even need to use MP. This saves me time. And I just smack them with a buster card and they die because she just deals so much damage and you're perfectly fine. Uh, the other thing is this third skill is nice but it's also very limited what it can do it is nice to have just a bonus 50 percent damage if you're ever fighting an undead enemy the, the the crit damage is good and stuff and i do like the ceiling of one mp but the undead enemy thing will only ever come up if you're ever specifically fighting a bunch of undead dudes which does not happen very often or you're using her with um Nightbrite, though summer nightbrite that summer not summer night oh i call her nightbrite because that is the nickname that they use all the time woozatane if you use her with, with summer woozatane who turn, automatically turns everyone into undead and also offers a little bit of bonus damage to undead then this will always be on so that's at least a fun thing but you can see here it's a, it's very gimmicky in that kind of instance um some other stuff this mp here like i said beforehand this buster resistance is nice but the fact that it does not apply first means that you miss out on some damage on it, which is kind of a shame. And the other thing that I guess is worth noting is that a lot of the other AoE servants, um, AoE Saber servants, their um, skill actually buffs the entire team. She doesn't. It ends up being fine. She's a little bit of a greedy unit and I don't have a problem with a greedy unit, but if you're someone who is building towards not having, I guess, a greedy type of team build, like for example, you're actually trying to farm the Morgan style where it's actually just three um, big units hitting their um, their AoEs or single targets and just dealing with it there, then her not being able to buff the other members is a little bit of a detriment in that in that case. But that is Ibuki. In general, I think she's a really good unit. Uh, I love my Ibuki. I use her every single chance that I can get. I, <laughs> I have a fully built up Saber, and I think if I got Saber to MP2 using that ticket, she would automatically be better than my Ibuki, but I like using Ibuki so much that I really don't want to do that. So, <laughs> I, I'm probably going to end up using that ticket on Herc or something. I still haven't um, turned it in at all. Still looking at it, thinking about this. But anyway, that's Ibuki. I wish you the best of luck if you summoned for her. She's really fun. I really like having her. I like all of her forms here. The, weird, the sweater here, the big old... I don't know, goddess form, the super goddess evil form, and just baby snake here. I think they're all fun. Um, so I, yeah, you can tell I maybe have a slight bias when it comes to a Buki, but at least I am honest in it. And now we're going to go to someone who I have the opposite of, uh, of a bias. <laughs> I have an anti-bias, but I think I should be okay, because for the most part, I think most people have uh, a similar opinion on them. Amakasa Shiro. First of all, it's worth noting... If you care so much about Amakasu that you want all his CEs as well, this banner's got you covered. It got all five of them that have him featured on it. I had no idea this man had this many CEs to him, and so many of them were five or four stars. That's crazy. In terms of the unit, though, let's take a look at him. Amakasu Shiro. Quick. Two, uh, one quick, two arts, two buster, three hits on quick, two hits on arts, one hit on buster, and seven hits on extra to be extra fancy. His first skill is the Prayer of Long Journey upgrades after strengthening two uh, replaces revelation. I don't know why I read that out. I usually don't. Prayer for the Long Journey <laughs> grants one ally critical star regeneration buff for three turns, increases their MP generation rate for three turns. Uh, star regen is 10, 30% on MP um, rate. Second skill is the Grail of the Fiery Heavens EX. Uh, reduces one enemy's MP gauge by one. Reduces all enemies at buster resistance but, uh, for five turns. And then charges on MP gauge by 20%. Charges on MP gauge every turn for five turns. The MP regen is 20% and the buster resistance down is 20% on a cooldown of eight. His third skill is the God's Resolution False C+. Um, chance to bound one enemy servant for one turn. And then increase on buster performance for three turns. The note here is that similar to stun, unlike stun in this game, uh, in this game, unlike stun, this effect ignores stun resistance and stun success rate up buffs. 100% chance and the buster resistance is 30% on the cooldown of 6. His one passive skill is magic resistance A. His third skill is an anti-ruler attack damage aptitude. 
uh, because trust no one, not even yourself in this case. Though I, the reason he has this is because he doesn't trust Jean. But also in general, Amakasu would not trust Amakasu. So the joke still fits. <laughs> uh, Noble Phantasm, the twin arm, big crunch, dual arm, zero order convergence, rank EX, buster, anti-army, hits a single time. Uh, removes all enemies buffs, activates first, deals damage to them, at MP level 1, 400%, at MP level 5, 600%, and then reducing their critical attack chance for 3 turns, charge level 1, 30%, and if you get them to the final charge level, it's 700, uh, 700%, it is 70% down on a crit chance, um, and he also has a costume similar where he's a phantom thief, there you go, fancy nice little costume, this actually is a very nice costume, but anyway, that's Amakasu, um, so first things first, he is an AoE unit, but he's not really meant to be used for farming. He's not really good at farming. In general, to be good at farming when you are a ruler, you have to be giving yourself so much buffs that it doesn't really, um, you don't get impacted by the less, uh, the damage, the, bleh. rulers naturally deal less damage. <laughs> So you need to be able to buff yourself a whole lot if you're going to be um, doing enough damage while you are a ruler. It's what I've run into with um, Bunny Toria, or uh, as I call her, um, Saber Ruler Summer. Um, she has a problem with damage a lot of the time, and I was able to be able, to, uh, I'm able to deal with it because she's mp2 but if she was mp1 she would be failing to constantly kill dudes all the time and sometimes even at mp2 she fails to kill dudes all the time that's at mp2 and i believe she has even less buffs than shiro does over here than amakasu does uh so he's really meant more to be used in like um challenge fights and i can also take note of that based off of this skill the skill is very nice but you can also see that it's a cooldown of eight so you can't do the traditional clan sky double because it doesn't work if you would try and loop with him which i don't know if why you would or if you want to try to do it you would probably do over on and then one two oberons and one coin sky but then i think you would run into the problem of Again, not having enough damage. I'd be interested to hear if you have Amakasu. I actually don't have him, so a lot of this is just offhand what I understand of the character and what I'm looking at here. If you have actual experience with it, I would love to hear it just so the next time I talk. I actually fairly I fairly often talk about this character, and for the most part, my assumption has always been he's good, um, for the most part, because he offers a very niche kind of thing that he has. But I think as the game has kind of gone on, I think it's a little bit more chipping away at that where I'm like, well now he's just very niche and if you need him for that niche, then I think he's gonna end up doing you pretty all right. But the problem is, is that for the most part, there's not really a lot of niche use for Omikasu. He needs, he literally has everything buffed, including his MP and I think he needs another buff of some kind. Cause what he's providing is nice, but it's just not enough in the current climate of the game. Um, at least that's how I feel about it currently i actually would be curious with these new skills if you actually with skill reloading would you be able to get this back what no it wouldn't matter anyway because this only gives 20 percent, and you need 30 percent if you want to do double coin sky and oberon you would still be doing oberon and um two oberons and a coin sky at that point anyway create increase on crit damage this would probably help him a little bit in, in doing some stuff but in general, pen skills can be used in a bunch of majority ways to make every unit look better. So, just one of the many ways. If you do end up liking Amakasu, there are ways to make them work and do <laughs> make them work for you as well. I think he ends up being um, the reason why I don't want to 100% write him off all that much is that this ability to remove all enemy buffs can really come in handy in a lot of very specific challenge quests that are very annoying and I'll have a lot of enemy buffs that will screw you over in some kind of capacity. So having the ability just on an AOE NP to get rid of them, even if it doesn't do a whole buttload of damage, just getting rid of them is enough and it's nice enough to have it where I do remember in the past there were specific challenge quests that were just like completely destroyed if you had Amakasu on you. That's why it makes it a little bit more difficult to be for me to like 100% write them off, but at the very, at the very least, I can try and say these are the good things I've seen them in, and I haven't been able to do it myself, but I have seen people posting it. And maybe that one scenario happened years ago, but who's to say it won't happen again, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
you never know. It could all happen again. Amakasu's not out for the count yet. <laughs> he can see he can still go. He's fine. Anyway, that's Amakasu. West the luck if you end up going for him. For the most part, if you are a normal person, you should not summon on Amakasu. <laughs> are you kidding me? Don't do it. Literally, Arjuna Alter is coming up. Don't summon on Amakasu. <laughs> Unless you just love him so much that you need him in your life. Those are the only people I will say, go ahead, do it. Because there's no... There's nothing I could say to make you unsummon uh, Amakasu. So anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. And that's the end of the 21 million downloads. I'll be back to talk about this one. This one, I think I will actually try and do... This is the next banner on the horizon. This one, I know for a fact, I can just swap all of these non-Arjuna Alter dudes into a single thing to talk about. Because it would make it just a little bit easier to, to handle and do and stuff but yeah this is this is what's coming up on the horizon probably best to be saving if you are a newer player who's interested in using a lot of buster stuff because arjuna alter is simply that guy but anyway that's the end of the video everyone thank you very much for watching as always uh thank you very much for watching i appreciate it a whole bunch you can leave a like comment and subscribe tell me however you're feeling positive negative I will accept. I re I do end up reading them all. Someone most recently told me that I have a weird voice, which is pretty funny. I've heard of, in terms of negative things, well, it's not really negative. They were just like, I remember one person saying, you sure laugh a lot. I'm like, yeah, I find joy in life. I like life. Sometimes anyway. Make it, It's very easy to make me laugh. But the weird voice one is uh, a first for me. I remember someone telling me, if you don't know, I have a friend I record with a whole bunch of Zen. And in the beginning, someone said, I can't tell you two apart. And then someone sent an email to us saying, I can tell you apart. Loki has an accent. And I said, and I looked, that was the first time I ever read that email. And I said, what fucking accent? <laughs> what accent do I have <laughs> that is different? If anything, I've always felt I don't have an accent when you consider that. Like, you're, there's almost no way you could tell that I'm uh, half Mexican and half a Salvadorian just from my voice but anyway that's enough of me rambling on thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one best of luck peace out